What's going on everybody? Ranger Hawk here. Today is September 23rd, well technically 24th, being as it's 12 a.m. midnight at the time of filming this video. I was looking on YouTube for opinions on the new Venom skin, being as we already had a Venom skin and we just got a different version of Venom to see what other Marvel fans are thinking about, or just Fortnite players in general. See if they like it, prefer it for the old one, to understand why it was a separate skin, style, whatever. Just wanted to hear thoughts on other people, but every video I've been seeing are just showing gameplay on the skin, and the creator doesn't really know much about the character or even the Marvel Universe, so I figured I'd uh, put my two cents in, being as I know a bit about Venom in the Marvel Universe. So, about 10 months ago, let me go to my locker and show it that way. About 10 months ago, we got this version of Venom. This is, I'm going to call it the comic book version of Venom with his iconic logo on his chest. Got a little bit of tendril action going on around his arms, none by the legs, etc. You have two styles on this skin. You have the default style, then you have the extreme style that has the tendrils raging all across his body. And the texture of his body is actually noticeably different. You can actually see like little waves going up his shoulders and whatnot and across his chest. He looks really good on the detail of his skin. Pretty cool. Teeth are nice pearly whites. So this is like the comic book version of Venom. I kind of wish they had like an Eddie Brock version or something like that. And then along with this specific skin, you get the built-in emote, We Are Venom. So today they just added a new, and I'll go to the item shop version of it. They just added the new Eddie Brock skin, so they didn't call it Venom, exactly we already have a Venom skin. Eddie Brock, which is technically Venom. The, the, the character that Venom leeches off of, pretty much. The Eddie Brock skin, it comes with a Tom Hardy appearance, basically, with this bomber jacket. Looks pretty clean, really cool, and it has the option of oh, wrong girl pity mode. Venom Unleashed, basically an option where you have a built-in emote that changes the style. So you can change to the Venom style and back to the Tom Hardy, Eddie Brock style, whatever you like, in-game or in lobby. Or you can just, when you're in your locker, once you own the skin, you could also uh, manually select which style if you want to just constantly switch from the Eddie Brock to the Venom. Maybe you just want to play just Venom off the bat. Um, so what does this new version of Venom come with? So we got the Tendrils of Venom. We have a Symbiote Scythe, similar to the Symbiote Slasher, just this one's more axe-shaped, whereas this one's kind of just a blade. And that's basically it for the Venom Bundle. You have the option separately to get the Symbiotic Veil, which is in the shape of a spider. Because, you know, technically Venom is a Spider-Man antagonist. And then we have the Symbiote Trail. And it's a really nice contrail that works with uh, not just the new Venom skin, but the old Venom skin, and also some of the other skins, like for example, let me go down, find it. This type of skin, you see how he has like some type of ooze coming out of his fingertips, so basically any character that has like black ooze would look really good comboed with, or just really any character that has black on their person. So, back to the Venom conversation. So, I actually think it's pretty cool that they added this Eddie Brock version of Venom and you have like this movie version as well as the comic version. I think that's really cool. It makes me wonder if we're going to get a theatrical version of Carnage as well. That's going to be a separate skin in the item shop that you have to get being since the current Carnage that's in the Battle Pass doesn't have the option to basically morph back into Woody Harrelson's character. Um, Personally, it, I think it's really cool that you have a huge discount. So if you own the original Venom bundle, that includes, you know, Venom, his Harvester, uh, Backlink, etc., then you'll actually get this new bundle for 800 V Bucks. So it's a 4,000 V Bucks total worth, and you're just getting it for 800 V Bucks. Um, 
I spent a little bit more than that because I wanted the symbiote trail. I didn't technically want the symbiotic sail because... Alright, I'll go over the cuz in just a moment. So one thing I'd like to go over, on the comic book version of Venom, we have his iconic uh, logo, kind of like Spider-Man spider symbol across his chest. Now, in case anybody's wondering why the Eddie Brock's version of Venom doesn't come with that is because Venom basically learns abilities, powers, traits every time he connects to a different host. So if he connects to a host, he gets their abilities and a piece of their appearance. So Eddie Brock's version, which is this is the movie version, hasn't encountered Spider-Man yet. Therefore, he doesn't have any of Spider-Man's powers yet, and he doesn't have the iconic logo on his chest. Personally, I think the skin looks pretty clean without that. You can kind of notice his abs in the more like character definition. Uh, similar to the extreme version of the original comic book Venom, he has like a bit of waves that go throughout his body. Um, like if you'll notice, if you look at the top of his head, you'll notice that the cranium shape just randomly changes because it's like the, the ooze is alive and moving. I really like that little detail. Um, the veins across his chest are pretty cool. I'm, I'm going to go back to the original Venom skin so we can see the difference in like ab definition. It's like two completely thing, different things right here. It's almost like this Venom has like gills in his stomach. Or this version just has like great physique. Uh, another big difference on the comic book Venom and the theatrical Venom is that comic book Venom has shoes on, or at least like shoe gill things, whereas the theatrical version has his bare feet out. So I don't know if that's a deal breaker for some people or not, personally. I like both versions. I'd say the only thing I'm not too fond of is that the comic book Venom has a built-in emote, which is We Are Venom. Now, because it's a built-in emote, you can't use this on a different skin, and being as the Eddie Brock is technically a different skin, same character, but still different skin, you can't use that emote. You can only use the built-in emote. So it would make sense for something that you have to change the style, but with the We Are Venom emote, we're not technically changing the style, so I kind of wish that that would just turn into a universal emote that other characters can use. That way we can equip that on the Eddie Brock skin. I think that would be pretty cool to have both this Venom and Leech emote and that one. Uh, another reason why I also think that is it kind of quotes probably the most iconic line in not just the movie but even the trailer when the Venom movie aired like a few years ago. We are Venom, which is literally a quote from Eddie Brock's Venom, but yet we just have that emote blocked to get the comic book version. Not really a big deal. Just kind of nitpicking at this point, but just my thoughts on it. So I would advise cop the skin, definitely worth the 800 V-Bucks. Definitely really cool. Probably going to be using this skin a lot more than the comic book Venom. Now I do think this Venom kind of gives off more of a Halloween spooky vibe, especially being a theatrical version, so it's suit for a greater audience where the comic book version isn't so, I guess you could say spooky. I mean, just looking at the teeth difference, I mean, bunch of sharp teeth, but then when you look at the theatrical version, definitely a lot spookier. So just minor things. Both Venoms are spooky. Both are awesome. But uh, another thing I noticed with the skins, uh, similar to the emote, how you can't use the individual built-in emote for the other character or the other skins by being the same character, they have the same thing with the Harvesters. You can't equip the Slasher on the theatrical version and you can't equip the scythe on the comic book version. Now uh, I guess I can see why being says both of the Venoms kind of have two different tints of like black. This Venom is more a pure black almost like a midnight blue color as well as the Harvester where this one kind of shades off to more like charcoaly ash colored Venom. Uh, personally, I prefer the Scythe over the Slasher. Now when we take a look at the Symbiotic Sail, um, personally I'm not too fond of this sail. I kind of wish it was some a type of glider that was more interactive with Venom. Unfortunately, as you can see with the two handles underneath, it's just like a normal glider. 
style, like kind of like a parachute style glider. I would have much rather prefer like a, we think of Root's glider, or even Batman's glider, how it's kind of something that's connected to not just the hands, but also the feet. I would have much rather preferred something like that, like some extension of Venom himself, instead of having something that Venom is holding on to. Um, another thing is, because the movie Venom hasn't interacted with Spider-Man yet, it doesn't really make sense that his glider would be spider themed technically. Now, that might be going a bit too far. I mean, it's just a game after all. Who really cares? I, it's not really a big deal, but I figured that's worth mentioning. So you wouldn't really have any attraction or connection to spiders. I mean, unless something changes in the new film, mind you, the new film isn't out yet. The one, Let There Be Carnage, we just have the one individual film. One individual film, no interaction with spiders, so it wouldn't make sense why he would have uh, some type of spider themed ability. So I'm not too big of a fan on the glider. It does look pretty good for spooky season, but not too interested, not gonna comp that. But I do suggest the Symbiote Trail for sure, and the theatrical version of the skin. Definitely worth it, definitely buy it. When it comes to the sale, it's all down to It's not a bad glider, not at all. It's actually a really cool glider. I'm just not interested. And that's pretty much gonna conclude this video and my thoughts on the Venom skin. So thanks you guys for watching, and I hope you have a good rest of your day or night. Peace.